Similar to the Design Studio, developers can connect to the Scheduler Administration tool from the Solution Manager by selecting the environment to connect or going directly to the URL of the Scheduler Administration tool of the server running Scheduler. Let us open the Scheduler Administration tool via the Solution Manager. Let us log in using the username admin and password admin. As soon as we log into the Scheduler Administration tool, we can see the previously created jobs which are available in the tool. By clicking on the Jobs menu, the Jobs Management screen will be displayed. Developers can create, start, delete, enable, disable jobs, etc. in this page. For example, if we want to create a new job, we can click on the Add Job button and then choose the type of job. For this demo, let us choose VDP as the type. On doing so, we will be directed to the Job Details page. Here we can configure the Extraction and Exporters sections of the job. In the Jobs Management page, we can see the results of the jobs in different colors, which make it more user-friendly. Next is the Data Sources. By clicking on the Data Sources menu, the Data Sources Management screen will be displayed, where we can add, edit, and remove new data sources. For example, if we click on Add Data Source, we get the drop-down of data sources which we can create by providing the appropriate configuration details. Data sources such as Scheduler Index, CSV, Elasticsearch, JDBC, and VDP can be created. The next section is the Projects section, where developers can add, edit, and remove projects. To add a new project, we can use the Add Project button. And to edit or delete a project, we can choose the project, click on the More option on the right side, and choose the appropriate option. We also have an Administration menu, where administrators can configure the web tool. Apart from the above sections, the Help menu can be used to refer to the online documentation and the user menu is used to change the local login password or log out of the tool. We also have an eye icon, which displays the hostname and port number of the scheduler server to which we are connected.